Let's name some substances, be they covalent, ionic, or metallic in nature. Let's keep things relatively small so it doesn't get too crazy and see how we go about doing this. I do want to point out that had us humans decided to just simply use a mono, di, tri, prefix system for each different element, life would have been easy, but we didn't. We're stuck with this, so that's just tough. Let's go ahead and name these substances. I'll bet you know that one. That one would simply be called sodium chloride, right? Sodium chloride. Notice we did not say sodium monochloride, but we do say carbon monoxide. Learn from this. Covalent substances use the monoditri system. Let's call that the prefix system. Ionic compounds do not, so apply it. This is an ionic compound. Do not use prefixes. Do not say aluminum trichloride. But should we say aluminum 3 chloride? Well, the only time we really don't is when it's monovalent. It turns out aluminum really is monovalent. I don't know if your instructor would take off points if you put the 3 in there or not. After all, that is the charge on it. But generally, they don't. Aluminum's only plus 3, so aluminum chloride. What do you like here? Sulfur tetrodioxide, I should say? Sulfur 4 oxide? Or just sulfur oxide? Well, you're going to have to take out your periodic table, probably. You're going to have to recognize the entire thing is covalent. You're going to have to remember, analogous to things like carbon monoxide, yes, indeed, we use the mono and dyes, making it pretty simple, sulfur dioxide. Here's one where a few rules come into play. Covalent? I think not. Iron is a metal. Will I use mono dyes and tries? I think not. The prefixes are out for these ionic compounds. Should... I use Roman numerals. Well, is it in a Roman numeral region? It really is. It's smack dab in the center of the uh, D block, and those things are polyvalent. What is the charge on iron? Well, it must be equal and opposite to all that accumulated charge on the right. Oxides are minus two, and we have two of them, giving us a total of minus four. I believe I'm going to use my Roman numeral and say this is iron four oxide. Don't you love this naming system? Let's do one more. Silicon, yeah. Technically, to the right of the staircase, don't worry about metalloids. We're going to consider this to be a non-metal. Yes, we will use prefixes. That makes it all that much easier. Don't worry about Roman numerals. Simply say silicon dioxide. If you're into flow charts, and I'm not really, here's how you do it. Look to see if there's a metal present. And if it is, you do not want to use the prefixes, right? If the answer is yes. If the answer is no, you do use the monodi prefixes, and you're done. Now, if you are finding that this is ionic, you better watch out for those polyvalents. And in fact, I think most of them are. Group 1 and 2 is the big exceptions. So consider whether you want to use the Roman numerals in the center and then name your substance. This is naming substances.